Hello and welcome to this another tutorial on EMGU CV. Today I'll be showing you how to do image binderization using simple thresholding techniques. Uh, particularly I'll be talking about uh, simple thresholding, adaptive thresholding and uh, OTSO's uh, thresholding that is part of uh, EMGU CV. So let's go and uh, create a simple application, go to files, open a new project in Visual Studios. Uh, it should be a Windows Forms application. Let me say binarization app. Uh, I'm using 64 bit uh, Windows uh, edition, and this is uh, Visual Studios 2017 Community Edition. I have just recently uh, downloaded. You can use 2015 or 13, that doesn't matter. So as part of the EMGU CV, the first thing we need to do is to add the reference to the EMGU CV um, and go to the location where you have installed EMGU CV. Uh, in my case, it's in C, EMGU CV. Then go to the bin folder and select this EMGU CV world. Uh, keep in mind that I'm using uh, EMGU CV 3.1 so let's click ok the second thing that you always need to do when you are using 64-bit edition is right click your project go to properties and in the build you need to select the platform as x64 so that we will use the 64-bit uh, dlls for the application and the third step these are mandatory for using the uh, emg cv right click on project go to add existing items go to the same folder where you have installed emgu cv go to emgu there is a bin and you can see 64 if you have uh, 86 and that is 32 bit operating system you need to go to x86 right now i have x64 if you don't see anything just go and select all files just select all of them and click on add another important thing is just select by Pressing while pressing control click on every DLL and then select copy always so that the there's those will be available in the bin folder or the place where your exe is, uh, is created so let's rebuild it first to make sure it is working fine so it is you can see uh, built successful let me go and add some uh, controls I want to add a menu item so that let me write file and uh, the user will select an image by himself and I also need two picture boxes where are the picture boxes I can see them picture box one and a picture box two so this picture box will display the and let's say original image and this picture box will display actually the, the binarized image that's it whatever you want according to your requirements you need to readjust those things this is picture box one and this is picture box two okay so let me go and uh, another menu let me create here is binarized okay open will open a file double click on open and one more thing that you might require here and you must write it emgucv.cv and using emgucv.cv.structure because this structure contains the basic data structures those are required for it and i'll create a, a global variable of bgr to hold my input image i call it img input and uh, also let me create another uh, variable call it grayscale to me to keep the grayscale image for me and then hmm, another one let me create another one that's just uh, for fun binarized <laughs> image so whenever uh, I, I want the user to select it so open file dialog open file dialog is equal to new open file dialog 
and make sure that the user show this dialog to the user show dialog and make sure that the user has selected a file and click ok then we can read the image file into the image input is equal to new image input and for this i am selecting the file um, selected by the user so ofd dot file name now i want to display it in picture box one picture box one dot image is equal to img input dot bitmap because uh, this picture box one dot image property expects a, a bitmap image so uh, we need to convert using the property of this img cv that's so simple let me run any check if it works fine so far or not so click on this run function file open and i have an image of lena here in d click ok then everything works fine now the next thing that i want to binarize the image but uh, remember that for our binarization we need this image to be in grayscale so first i have created you can see uh, ing gray variable i'll convert this an um, rgb image which is bgr image sorry into a gray image so how can we do that img gray is equal to img input dot convert function and in convert i want to say uh, convert it into grayscale and keep this in bytes the depth in bytes for me that's it so simple now this is the gray image that i have and uh, where should i display the gray image mm -hmm. Let's say uh, I replace this uh, image in the picture box one with the gray image and the binarized image will be over here. So first I'll show you picture box one dot image equals uh, IMG gray dot bitmap. And now I will do actually binarization. So this is the binarization using thresholding so what we need to do and we need to create the object for this ing binarize what i will do is uh, an image a binary image just with black background so how we, we can do that is img gray dot width img gray dot height its height and width will be same but the gray values that i want is to initialize all of them with zero so it will be just uh, uh, an image of same size as img gray but it will be dark that is all pixel values will be initialized with zero now let's go and uh, utilize the uh, cv invoke dot threshold function what it the first parameter is the input image so we have img gray as input and we want the uh, output to be in I am binarized. Let's say the threshold value. This is the threshold value uh, that we need to binarize the image, which we it will use the if the values are greater than 50, those will be replaced with 255. So I said and let's say 255. And what is the threshold type? Is let me say I'm using the binary so the output will be in img binarized and i want to show it in picture box dot image is equal to img binarize where is img binarize dot bitmap that's great so let's run by this application by hitting the start file open where is lena okay binarize so here it is the uh, grayscale image and this one is the binarized image and uh let me show you what is going on here the threshold function expects a grayscale image which we provided it as input and then we created an uh, a same image uh, uh, an image of same size and then uh, that is as output this is the threshold value above which the elements will be and the pixel values will be clipped so this is the value that i want to replace if this if it satisfies the threshold and there are many 
uh, I mean one two three four five six seven type of uh, threshold types this is the binary this is the inverse mask is not sure so I will not talk about the what about also and a zero let me clarify these things from and the website which shows so these are the uh, threshold types you can see we have the binary is zero the condition is like this if the value of the image pixel value is greater than th threshold it is replaced by max value by max value means this is the value that we provide them. for example if it is greater than 50 then it will replace it with 255 if it is not greater than 250 if it is less than uh, 50 then what it is doing it is replacing it with zero similarly if you select the inverse it is doing the opposite of this thing the same thing is explained here in the uh, open cv documentation you can see this is the function if the source x at x and y is greater than threshold it is replaced by maxwell otherwise it is zero similarly the inverse is just the opposite that if it is greater it is replaced with zero otherwise it is similarly if we use the truncate function then what it does is if it is greater than threshold its value is replaced with the threshold itself otherwise it keeps it so threshold to zero instead of using this uh, threshold value it uses the uh, image itself so let's go threshold to zero and check these things others you can also see see the inverted threshold to zero and a threshold to inverted these are just the opposite similarly threshold binary and a threshold binary inverted are opposite to each other so i use the threshold binary inverted now let's see the output how we will get the output for threshold binary okay binarize so you see previously if you uh, the result that I, we saw was basically the complemented the white part was black and the black part was white and similarly you can use an important thing is also what is also it is very interesting the minimum value or the threshold value that we have defined it but for also's global thresholding algorithm it calculates the threshold by itself so we don't need to. this thing doesn't matter if we write even 500 it will not be used in particularly for this also's global thresholding it calculates itself by using the global thresholding on whole image so let's see that binarize so you can see so the odd source and we can also check what value was uh, used by the odd source global thresholding algorithm basically this if you look at the signature of the method it returns a double so we can and uh, get that double value and a display to see what uh, value is basically used and maybe i can display it like this message box dot show and uh, threshold dot to string or something like that let me run it again file open and lina binarize so you can see the value that has been used by the odd source global thresholding algorithm is 113 although i i provided you can see this 500 it is it can never be uh, it can never produce a result like this for also special case uh, this value is used but for others we have to define ourselves the values so you can experiment uh, with other type of functions for example you can truncate use it and uh, these are the simple uh, binarization methods which you can experiment with others as well so file binarize 50 so you can see for the truncation operation as I told you what it is doing actually if it is uh, greater than threshold it is replaced by threshold itself if the value of threshold was 50 so everything looks like very dark if I increase this value for example say uh, 120 then it will be a better result as compared to result in the sense that we can see the brightness a bit so the binarization using the emguc we 
uh, is very simple and I hope you understand it further you can uh, refer to this uh, OpenCV document and also you can see the uh, EMGUCV e enum function that is in cvdl to see the parameters what type of parameter and also there is a, an example of python in open 3.2 you can check out these tutorials i hope uh, it was a bit useful for you and i hope to see you in next video